It's the Maria Bamford Show! Amy gave my job back, and I'm saving for an apartment, and I'm experiencing a deep, unceasing boredom. It's almost spiritual. So you want me to cut out everything in the Duluth News Tribune, paste it onto separate sheets of paper, make a copy of those, three-hole punch them, and put them in this binder. Uh-huh. Even the cartoons and the ads. Uh-huh. It just seems like a waste of paper because you've already got the paper. Uh-huh. You don't need to make a paper copy of the paper. I can't read it when it's full like a sandwich! Poppy, I think I need a more meaningful job. What, like a, a nun or a single mother or a prostitute? It's just hard for me to be in an office eight hours a day. No, well, it's hard when you, <clears throat> you're just only working two minutes a year. <laughs> Sarah, I was thinking of going back to school. Mm -hmm. I could be like a nurse or a cop or a dragon. Or a nail technician. You could do my nails. Do my nails. I'm not gonna do your nails. Why don't you get off your pity pot and go help people, help others. Why don't you go help people? I'm already helping, I got four kids. I'm a life coach to four tiny unemployed people with limited motor skills. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna help people. I'm gonna audition, I mean interview, to become a mentor. I'm gonna help them help me, help them help me, help me. So Marie. Why do you want to be a mentor? I'd like to do something more meaningful with my life. And, and when I was a kid, I had tons of problems and I really could have used a mentor. I had, oof, <laughs> so many problems. What kind of problems? OCD, mm, depression, oh, some alcohol, drug use, oh, severe eating disorder that wasn't as bad, I mean, now in retrospect as I think it was, but I ended up going through treatment and, and I don't have any of these things anymore, none anymore. I mean, they're all, I take medication, I go to groups, I, you know, really take care of myself and uh, I mean, it's like diabetes, you know, I'm going to have this for the rest of my life and yet it's not like diabetes at all because I don't have to take injections every few hours or, or lose a limb at some point or, or maybe possibly die earlier than other people. Um, so it's, it's not like diabetes at all, really. I wrote down three words, my first impressions of you when you came in. These are the words, anxious, high strung, and eccentric. Do you think I could be a mentor? Do you think you could be a mentor? I don't know. Honey, the reason they rejected you from the mentorship program is because you wore two prints together. They really need people who are stable. I wore your scarf. Anxious, high strung, and eccentric, aren't those a uh... Character traits you pride yourself on? <laughs> yes. Why don't you volunteer at my house and do my nails? I'm not gonna do your nails. What? I'm needy. I'm at risk. I need direction. <laughs>